Woo! G'day, Stu here and welcome to UAV Futures. Today I'm going to show you how to record your FPV footage or your DVR using one of these. It's a capture card. Now, why would you want to do this when you've got a GoPro or a Mobius or something like that? And the answer is sometimes people want to see what it looks like when you're actually flying inside the goggles. So recording your DVR footage uh, is a good way of showing that. Also, by using one of these, you've got a second monitor in the field. So anybody who's walking by, you can say, hey, check this out while you fly around. And finally, sometimes if you're flying a little micro quad or something like that, they just can't carry a HD camera. So using this to record uh, its FPV footage is a great way of showing what your micro can do. Anyway, we'll uh, pop it on the bench and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so what I actually used to record my DVR footage is one of these, and this is a Kogan uh, video capture card and you're going to say to me Stuart why did you pick this one what's good about this one and to be honest it was really cheap so it was 20 Australian dollars so that's why I've picked this one now the way it works is you just plug in your analog video feed or your uh, FPV feed and you you plug it into here and it will actually convert it in here there's some sort of magic trickery that goes on you plug it into your computer uh, in a USB and it'll actually convert it to a digital file that you can use to record on your computer now it's really simple to set up. The only thing extra you're probably going to need is one of these little uh, signal splitters and I'll put that in a link down below as well. So if you want to find out where to get one of those from, I, one of those from. I think that was about two bucks and so all up you're looking, I think you're looking about $20 including postage. That's so 20 Australian dollars so figure the math out there. Now it does have all these other cables on here because I think it's made for actually recording old DVDs or like Super Nintendos and things like that. But because all we're getting from our quads is the video signal. We don't need to worry about any of those there. Maybe I should cut them off. I don't know. But they're not doing any harm. So, but all we really use in this setup is this port right here, and that's for the analog video. All right. So, I'm going to show you how I wire this thing up when I'm in the field so I can actually record my DVR footage. So, here's my receiver. We're going to pretend that's getting some amazing flight footage because I'm, I'm a total pro. Uh, and basically, uh, that's running to my goggles. It doesn't use these connections. It uses some other things, but there's a total mess of wires. I'm not going to have all them here, but this is just so you can get the general idea. So, I've got my signal coming from my receiver and that's going to my goggles and what we need to do is split this signal coming from the receiver and split it in so it can actually go to my capture card and that's done with one of these and this is about two dollars I think just a little signal splitter so we're going to put that in here we're going to make sure that's in that way then we just connect these up and it's splitting the signal still going to my goggles but the other half is going over here to my capture card so it's really really simple all right so i've got uh my normal goggles plugged in that i'd usually fly with and everything like that but when i want to do the dvr excuse the wind I've, we might just wait till it dies down because then i can hey, nick get out of it get seriously get that out <laughs> And then I'm just splitting my signal and that runs on this really long cable that I've got uh, just here and that's what goes to my laptop. So uh, that's how I'm recording my DVR. Now obviously you're going to need a laptop and that's not going to be included in the $20 but a lot of us use laptops in the field anyway for things like when we're configuring our flight controller and stuff like that. And a massive benefit of recording your DVR onto your laptop is it actually displays it in real time. So it's like a second monitor there for anybody who's walking past, they can just check it out. I'm going to leave you with some DVR footage I recorded of flying around on my micro. For more things FPV related, subscribe. And as always, happy flying! So there's obviously no sound when you're recording just your DVR footage. So I'll just uh, help you out a little bit here as we fly around my house. So I don't know if that's uh, making it any better. But yeah, so I have a tiny little house. Uh, here's my front uh, going down the side here. And oh, look at that. And we're at the end. All right, I'm going to go through the kitchen. There's the missus cooking a bit of dinner there. And uh, I thought I'd make this turn, but it turns out I hit the ground there. One thing that is cool about micros is how you can take back off, take back off again. There's my phone going off in the background. And then I think that's just like a little loop that I got to practice. This was like my third battery or something like that. So uh, it was going well. Oh, all the phones are going off. Anyway, through the kitchen again, and this is probably my favourite turn that I did just here. Woo! That was just pro, like Luke Skywalker, just using the force right there. Uh, and then I think, don't know if I crashed just here, I can't remember. 
Oh, look at that. There we go. Down. Blackhawk down. 